Your presence in my life has made me a stronger, braver, more confident woman, and I vow to give you my best self every day, even if my best looks different day to day. You have shown me what it means to be loved unconditionally. You constantly remind me of my worth in your eyes and in the eyes of the Lord. And you make me feel beautiful, respected, and cherished. I love you, gold and silver. Come sit a while with me. Here in the twilight singing. Here in the evening breeze. Here tonight I'll be waiting. Come sit a while with me. <laughs> Rhiannon, today in front of our families and friends and God, I commit my life to you. Today we celebrate the years of commitment, sacrifice, and love that has come full circle, um, even including taking forever to decide where to eat. But we'll continue to work on that. Um, but it feels like it was just yesterday when I sat down in our English class, turned around to meet the nicest, sweetest girl who has the most beautiful set of eyes. <sighs> it feels like it was just yesterday when I went through your iPod and found out that I was a bigger Taylor Swift fan than you are, and I still am, for the record. Um, it feels like it was just yesterday when we traveled around the world just to visit a pug-themed cafe. It was Yesterday is clear, it's vivid, and it's a treasure that I will always keep. But today is a big step in our lives. Today we step into something bigger, even bigger than ourselves. Today we become one. Today we celebrate our love with friends and family. Today I give you everything. Today I give you all of my tomorrows. Luis Santo Tomas Burgundia. When I first met you nine years ago in our AP language class, I had no idea that the cute guy sitting in front of me would one day become the handsome man standing in front of me today as my husband. Your genuine kindness, your selflessness, your quick wit and sense of humor, your passion for the things that you love, and your pursuit of Jesus are just to name a few of the reasons why I fell in love with you. On February 5th, 2015, you told me that the biggest lie you'd been telling yourself was that you weren't in love with your best friend. And I'm so glad I was the best friend you were talking about. I know. Like like a year. A year. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. You look so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> All of my friends who knew it from the beginning were right. We would get married someday, and here we are. Every day since then has been an adventure with you. Some of my happiest memories have been with you, while you've also supported me through some of my biggest trials and times of self-growth and change. And I think what's so beautiful about life with you is that while I strive to be the best wife I can be for you, I know you will be by my side through all of my imperfections and shortcomings, just as you have been time and time again. You fearlessly and wholeheartedly pursue the Lord, and I see Jesus in you every day by the way you love me, the way you love your family, and the way you love your friends. And I vow from this day forward to always put Jesus at the center of our marriage and our family. I vow to be the husband that God created me to be. I vow to uphold and prioritize our ministry in this marriage. I vow to be the head of our ministry who listens, who is empathetic, 
who is patient and who will endlessly uphold my Christian duties as your husband. I vow to protect you, nurture you, and grow with you. I vow to be the man that you can run to at any moment of joy or sorrow, no matter how much I also hate spiders. <laughs> I vow to help uh, nurture our love and grow it as we take on more adventures and build our family. I love you with all that I am, Rhiannon. I love you, I love you, I love you. I vow to say yes to a life full of adventure with you, to a life full of learning more about you, to a life full of singing and dancing together in the kitchen, <laughs> to a life full of forgiveness and grace, and to a life full of leading each other back to Jesus. You are truly my best friend, and that is what makes loving you so easy and life with you so fun. Every day for the rest of my days, I will have something to look forward to, and that's doing life with you. I love you. You're a great woman, and I'm happy that you and Louis find, Louise found each other. I hope you'll be there for one another all the time and take care for each other, no matter what, and accept each other's quirks and weirdness. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. But if I had to say one thing, I would just say to you, Luis and Rhiannon, to keep turning to God relentlessly in the ups and downs of your marriage together. Luis, we know that you will care for Rhiannon and love her unconditionally. And she deserves the world and we feel confident that you're able to give it to her. Their love story was straight out of a Hallmark movie. Two best friends looking for love, but the person they were looking for was right in front of them. When she's with him, she's the happiest I ever see her, and she's her goofiest and most loving self. I just wanna love you.